The cougar, which is also commonly referred to as a puma, mountain lion, or panther, is the second largest cat in North America. Unlike other big cats, however, the cougar cannot roar. Instead, the large feline purrs like a house cat. Cougars also have similar body types to house cats, only on a larger scale. They have slender bodies and round heads with pointed ears. They vary between 1.5 to 2.7 meters, or 5 to 9 feet from head to tail, while males can weigh up to 68 kilograms, or 150 pounds. Females weigh less, topping out at nearly 45 kilograms, or 100 pounds. Their coat is always plain, and typically of a tawny color, though there have been incidences of gray or red cougars. Cougars are born spotted, and their coats fade to pale over time, before finally darkening into their adult colors after the first year of their life. This is thought to be an aid to camouflage. While adult cougars need to blend in with the rocks and desert around them, infants are likely to be hidden in dappled shadows in crevices and underbrush. Historically, mountain lions had the most extensive distribution of all American terrestrial mammals. They ranged from coast to coast in North America, and from southern Argentina and Chile to southeastern Alaska. Extermination efforts, hunting pressure, and habitat destruction have restricted their range to relatively mountainous, unpopulated areas throughout much of their range. Populations in eastern North America were entirely exterminated, except for a small population of Florida panthers. In recent years, populations have begun to expand in areas of human habitation, especially in the western United States. Mountain lions are now fairly common in suburban areas of California and have recently been sighted as far east as urban Kansas City, where several have been hit by cars. The cats may actually see each other once in a while, but mostly they leave messages with feces, urine, scratched logs, or marks they scrape out into the dirt or snow. Mountain lions can also growl, hiss, yowl, and purr to get their message across with other cats, and they are known for a short, high-pitched scream and a whistle-like call. Mountain lions are powerfully built with large paws and sharp claws. Their hind legs are larger and more muscular than their front legs, which gives them great jumping power. They can run fast and have a flexible spine like a cheetah's to help them maneuver around obstacles and change direction quickly. Even so, mountain lions are mostly ambush predators, launching at prey to knock it off balance. They have especially keen eyesight and they usually find prey by seeing it move. These cats may be on the prowl during the day or at night, but they are most active at dusk and dawn. Mountain lions hunt over a large area, and it could take a week for one to travel all the way around its home range. They eat a variety of prey depending on where they live, including deer, pigs, capybaras, raccoons, armadillos, hares, and squirrels. Some larger cats even bring down prey as big as elk or a moose, but hunting large prey brings risk, and many mountain lions suffer life-threatening injuries received from a hunt, especially from a prey's sharp horns, antlers, or hoofs. Mountain lions often bury part of their kill to save it for a later meal, hiding the food with leaves, grass, dirt, or even snow, depending on the habitat and time of year. Cougars are particularly vicious, particularly as they have more to fight for. They mate with more than one female, defend large territories that often overlap with those of females, need to hunt, kill, and eat meat more often than females, and do not have the female preoccupation of raising cubs. As such, they come into opposition often, and will sometimes fight to the death over a particular prey animal, female cougar or path of land. Humans are the biggest predators of cougars with people hunting them for sport and to protect livestock. People are also the main cause of the cats losing their habitats. Out in the wild, wolf packs will prey on the cats because they're able to surround the animal and overwhelm it with numbers. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle, the cougar will usually survive the match. Wolves are most likely to affect cougars by dominating the same territory and taking advantage of prey opportunities. 
Wolves can also disrupt the cougar's ability to reproduce. The feline is not on the endangered species list, but conservation groups remain unsure about how well the cougar population is doing around the world. In the United States, the only state that prohibits hunting them is California. However, it is illegal to hunt them in Costa Rica, Guatemala, Venezuela, Brazil, and throughout most of Argentina. To hunt the big cat in the US, hunters must obtain a permit unless they live in Texas. Poachers target cougars, but the effects of this action on the cat are unknown. The US Fish and Wildlife Service reports that the illegal animal part trade is a $200 million a year market, and it's growing. As you can see, cougars are very strong cats and have amazing qualities, but can they cope in Australia? Australia is one of the most biologically diverse countries on the planet. It is home to more than 1 million species of plants and animals, many of which are found nowhere else in the world, and less than half of them have been described scientifically. Australia is so different from the rest of the world because it's geographically isolated. It broke off from the supercontinent Gondwana 99 million years ago and has been doing its own thing ever since. That's why it has so many marsupials compared to everywhere else. It was only in the Pleistocene that placental mammals were able to come over from Southeast Asia as the continent drew closer to Indonesia and then only bats and rats. A unique feature of Australia's fauna is the relative scarcity of native placental mammals. Consequently, the marsupials, a group of mammals that raise their young in a pouch, including the macropods, possums, and dasyomorphs, occupy many of the ecological niches that elsewhere in the world are filled by placental mammals. The niche of large carnivores was also occupied by marsupials. One notable example was the thylacolio carnifex, which died out 46,000 years ago, reaching the size of a small lion. There have been stories, going back decades, of mysterious big cats roaming certain parts of Australia, mostly in Victoria, the Blue Mountains of New South Wales, and the southwest of Western Australia. Much like Bigfoot and other cryptids, the evidence consists of sightings, footprints, and blurry pictures, nothing conclusive. The biggest cats naturally occurring in Australia are feral domestic cats introduced by Europeans in the last 200 years. Some of these cats have survived very well because they become apex predators without any competition. In remote areas where tribal aborigines still hunt traditionally, feral cats are taken by them as they are very destructive to native marsupials and other small animals. Given the lack of large terrestrial predators, if you take humans out of the picture, the cougars would probably thrive in Australia. They would be the apex predator and feast on all of the kangaroos, wallabies, or anything else it came across. It would be bad news for the dingo, pushing it to only the aridest regions. However, hunting kangaroos would not be a very easy task. Kangaroo has a type of locomotion the cats have never seen before. They are also very fast can travel up to 80 kilometers an hour and have tremendous acceleration, getting there very quickly, and are probably the fastest animal over rough and rocky terrain and up hills where they can be bound very easily. Nothing can match them over long distances. Cougars would likely overheat in the tremendous heat, and with no shade or water energy and fluid management will be vital. So, to hunt kangaroos, they have to adapt to the new conditions. Otherwise, they will most likely start feeding on domestic livestock, thus coming into conflict with ranchers. Such a conflict could be tantamount to their disappearance from the mainland. Introducing predators typically end up being more of a problem than a solution. Australia already has major invasive species issues. Introducing cougars may help with controlling kangaroo populations, but may negatively affect a lot of other native populations, including ones that are already vulnerable. It's unlikely that cougars would only hunt and kill kangaroos, and probable that they would kill other species that are already threatened and endangered as well. 
Although in Australia, cougars should not worry about other predators, they should still be aware of the wildlife hazards such as venomous snakes or even poisonous toads. Cougars would be unfamiliar with these creatures and thus more likely to fall victim to them. Now that you've heard our opinion, we want to know yours. Do you think cougars could survive in Australia? We are waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.